welcome to Hadoop exam learning resources. In this session, we are going to cover SERDI. This is serialization and deserialization in the context of high. So we can also see one example of writing custom SERDIs. So what exactly is the SERDI? So let me clean out the screens to understand in detail. So what happens as we have seen like there is a file format which is stored which we need to define while storing the data. Similarly, whenever data has to be read and write, read and write from Hadoop Hive tables. From Hive tables, we have to use the SERDI to like let me draw the diagram over here. Suppose you have this is the Hive table defined which has this is this row. Okay. So what happens like these are the rows many rows okay. whenever you have to you fire the select query hive is using the input format based on the file format so like suppose you would have text in text file so text the input format it will read this record and and it will give the record reader and this record reader will return you the one record and thus that record is actually a serialized record Correct. while storing the data the hive has serialized this data so now the serialized record has to be converted into the actual row object so it the hive can represent to the end user so for this what exactly it does is whenever you find the select fire the select query this record it goes to the study dot like whatever custom study you have written it will call, call this the serialized method the serialized method and with the help of object inspector class this object inspector class is for entire row or row, row which we have read or it could be and it also uses for each and individual field for each field there is an object inspector so which does the mapping for your each field and then deserialize that field and then represent it to the end user so this is the uh, where it does this deserialization while doing the cell uh, file when user fire the select query and similarly when you fire the insert so what hive does is actually this is your file correct you want to insert this file to the hive table this is your hive table hive table and this is your file which you want to write it to what hive is actually that as soon as you load this data hive will convert this record into like first it has to be in java a hive will given to hive based on the input format it will read it it given to the hive hive will create out of this one so hive will create out of this one java object which hive can understand and manipulate it and as soon as the java object is created it could be given to the your uh, actually what i would say sardi okay, this custom sardi you have already written and it will go to the serialized method and for during the serialization what it does is actually it will serialize each and every object each and every field so uh, this again like with the help of object inspector which object inspector will understand like each and every field for entire row there is a object inspector to do do the mapping between like your row field and object field you can use it object inspector and once this record is serialized then after serialization it will be stored into the d sorry hard database table so this way this do the serialization so this is the so there are if i would say life cycle so there is a one initialize method which does initialization for the entire uh, uh, record at once and it is done only for once uh, called only once because it has to find it out the table properties during the initialization so it, what it finds is like column type which it, it will find it will find like column names from this uh, while uh, calling this method and second once it is done then during this and you, you have to define deserialization serialization method and uh, 
method is serialized method you have to define so this these three things you have to define while writing the custom survey so so while whenever you are working with the hive it is required like if your data should be like it could be in semi structure format correct right? so same structure format like i would say xml your email kind of things and you need to pass it like to understand each field and while writing or while reading the data from the hive table you require the custom survey and even we would have we have unstructured data completely so there is a video audio format so we wanted to work on this data if this is completely unstructured then we have to write our custom survey so if that for your requirement you can write your custom survey so i will have an example over here so like this is the example which i have taken and i have commented on this so there are three methods actually uh, this is like each and every detail right now i can we cannot go in detail but uh, you can see each and every detail over here commented in this code and this is the initialize method where it has it will be called once and then second if uh, this is get property method this is again some like this is the serialized method this is for serialization purpose and this is the deserialized method which will be helpful to you to do the serialization and deserialization so thanks for listening so this is all about sardi and we will have more detail regarding sardi and their implementation and complete code coverage in the this training so you will go to the hadoopexam.com and you can get some paid subscription which is um, very economical uh, like just uh, i would say it's very economical and you can re read about like high, uh, our full Uh, sessions there are 13 modules we have defined so you can go through this training and listen each and every topic in depth so thanks for listening and you can even subscribe over youtube channel to get the free sessions we are providing some uh, for uh, this hadoop and hive training and keep following us we are doing a lot many things with the hadoop and big data domain we we in future we are coming with another big data projects which we are here uh, have many other sessions related to this thanks